our soils are non-wetting in that four to five inches of the topsoil. So we're just applying uh, clay at a 150 to 160 tonne to the hectare and uh, just working it, working it in with a speed tiller at, at four to five inches. Since we put on clay, we've, we don't have any, more or less don't have any blow. Uh, have a lot less wash from thunderstorms and uh, the, our new, uh, just great germination is the biggest thing. We're getting, getting crops out of the ground, we've got heaps more pasture. Look, putting on the clay is, oh, well, we just call it a no-brainer. If you're having uh, issues with blow and non-wetting, claying is a very good option. We're roughly 22 k's north of Badgingara and um, we've got uh, 10,000 acres in there. We grow lupins, canola, barley, oats, wheat, we grow them all. We just grow a bit of, bit of everything each year. The whole thing is quite expensive. We use a dozer contractor to push all that clay up. If you're gonna muck around with a small spreader, I think it's, you're probably just better off getting a contractor to do it. We'd, we can roughly do a hectare an hour. It all depends on the distance you've got to travel. So if it's fairly close, if you've got a 60 hectare paddock and the clay pit's in the middle of the paddock, you could do a hectare an hour quite easily. It's not just the sand either, it's our good gravels, the gravels over clay that are, that are non-wetting as well. So we've put um, clay on those gravels and the response is great. Claying is just a one-off if you've got the right clay. The germination in our crops and the germination of our pastures is just like second to none. It's just heat better. It's probably at least double. Great results, yep. <laughs>